What's up, guys? The uh, uh, sorry, I'm not used to my new channel. What's up, guys? Fnatic Pants 3 here, and today it might become a highly requested, just like all the other videos. Will be the top five, top five zombies. Although today we'll be talking about the top five best shotguns in zombies. Now, everybody knows that shotguns are like very powerful at close range. Some of them can be more powerful at far range, like the KSG, for example. Now, uh, now if you guys really like want to, if you guys, if you guys, just like you guys know, it's my own opinion. If you guys don't agree, then you don't have to dislike. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started with the video. This is the top five best shotguns of all time in zombies. At number five, we have the Olympia. Now, this is a starting weapon. I know what you're thinking. Sh shouldn't you just add the Remington? Well, guess what, guys? The Remington is way too expensive. Do you know how much I don't even like that gun? It's weak and it's expensive. Unless, of course, you want pack a punch it, then that's your choice. And with pack a punch the Olympia, you get the Hades. And this is actually one of the best shotguns to pack a punch. Because. Because you know how weak it is after round 5 or 6. Although, although if you shoot them, you, they will be obliterated. There will be flames. It's like an obliterating shotgun like the Pack Punch KSG. And I'll admit, it's probably one of the best guns I've Pack Punched. I've Pack Punched it a lot. I don't remember Pack Punching in Buried, but I do remember Pack Punching it in uh, Nuketown like I did there and uh pack punch and die rise it was an amazing shotgun when pack punch and at number four we got the stakeout no, I wonder why you guys are thinking of how powerful this is. Why'd you, why'd you put it at no? Why'd you put it at number four? Well, I, well, I was, there's a tie between the Spaz 12 and the and the Stakeout. I just realized the Spaz 12 won. So the Stakeout is put at this at this number be, because it's still a good shotgun, but I think the I think the Pack Punch Spaz 12 is beat. I think the Spaz 12 beats it because of, sim because of how good it is and semi automatic and plus. And plus, uh. It's like a really good. It's like a really good gun just in case. Like on Kino to Toten, I usually. I usually take the MP40 in the stakeout if there's no box. Otherwise, I would just take the stakeout and then hit the box. But anyway, this is a really good gun to take on early rounds. Speaking of the Spaz 12, speaking of the Spaz 12, that is number 3 on our list. Now y'all wondering, why did I put it here again? Well, it's semi-automatic, and when you, when you pack a punch it, it, it takes, it takes one, it takes, it takes like a, a one shell to be loaded. And then also it's fully automatic. That's how good it is. Yeah. When you pack a punch, it's called the Spaz 24. Or Spaz 24. Now, because of a really good shotgun like this, it's actually one of the best semi auto shotguns. It's actually. I think it's actually better than the you know, other semi-auto. And at number two, we have the the M eighteen ninety seven trench gun. Now, according to the Smith plays, uh, it's actually number one. Well, it's wrong. Not in my opinion. I think that trench gun is actually. Oh crap. Okay, anyways. Uh I was just using 
I was just using, I'm using the trench coat just now. I was like, wow, this is powerful. Is it really better than the K? Is, is it really better than the other shotgun I'm going to introduce? I, I realized it's not at all. First of all, low ammo, but but I guess that's I guess that's what you get with a really powerful gun. And uh, and when pack a punch is actually much better. And with Shino and on Shino Numa, I heard that there's a strategy that you that you use the trench gun and the Wonder Wolf DG2. I heard that that's a good that's a good strategy on Shino Numa. But hey, that's it. Hey, it's everybody's opinion, and if everybody likes it, then they like it. Although, I agree, I disagree with the trench gun that it's not the best. Although, it is still a really good gun. Now, we got a shotgun so good, that it's on this list. That's only on one map, I mean. Coming at number one is the KSG. Money, why did you put it at number one, even though it's only on one map? Well, let's face it, the KSG is the most powerful list in multiplayer. It can be also the most powerful list in uh, zombies. Now, now when you pack a bunch of it, it's called the Mist Maker. And uh, it's actually really good. You get really cool reflex sign. Unless, of course, I gotta get red dot for it. But in other words, this shotgun can obliterate zombies like the Olympia. Well, the, like the Pack Punch Olympia and the Pack Punch Remington can. But I will, oh, by the way, there are no honorable mentions, I forgot to say. Oh, and by the way, I was going to put the Remington as an honorable mention, but then I was like, you know what? Forget this, because the Remington, sure, it's it's a really good, sure, the Remington is like a really good, a really good gun. It's like one of the best guns in the world, but guess what? I didn't put it on the list only because of well first of all it's so expensive it's expensive second of all it's weak so why should I buy a weak gun oh yeah by the way if I do make one top five worst worst wall weapons it's not going to be the B23 yard the Smith plays well aka Patrick he, he, he says Anyways, it's not going to be the B-20R, Patrick. It's going to be the Remington. You should have put that in your video. I'm sorry. 